Hi, so this is a demonstration of the Agoric Smart Relayer uh, between IBC chains. We have two Agoric chains, Agoric 0 or IBC 0 and IBC 1. And this is a user interface for IBC 0. So I'm going to use the Agoric network stack to connect from the IBC port to an echo port on the other side of IBC 1. When I connect, it comes back and tells me that the relayer is not started for this path. So I paste some shell script and run our relayer. Here you see the promise for our connection is unresolved, meaning it's not finished the connection yet. Now the Agoric Smart Relayer takes over. Uh, loads some bats and begins forwarding the, the connection back and forth. So we see the connection open, open try, open ACK, and channel open init, channel open try, and channel open ACK. This has resulted in the presence, which is our handle to a remote object. So now we can send the message to the other side. And we'll see the relay relay at the packets. And we get back to hello world message. So we'd like to modify the behavior of the relay. So we're going to install a delay handler that makes the packets take a little bit longer. So first let's just time a, a, a regular send. One, two, three, four, five, six, about five seconds. Now when we install the delay handler, the smart relayer has already loaded the delay policy. And when we send a message now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about two more seconds longer. That's because the delay handler inserts a delay of two seconds in between the chains. And it's worth adding that this was an update in the policy applied to an open existing operating channel. Yes, so now we're going to start another channel. Um, to the transfer port on the other on the other chain. Again, it tells us that the channel is not established. And we need to start a new relayer instance to take care of it. This is the second link that we're relaying. And the delay handler is still installed. So what we'll notice is that it delays the handshake by a second and then continues on. So now the The data packets are being watched and we opened up the port. So let's send the transfer packet. So this was the second link, it's called two. We don't need some flags there that it's applied. We'll send the transfer packet, and this should come up with a message saying that's been forwarded.
and then back in our relayer, we receive the transfer response. The transfer packet comes to our, our channel handler on the stream. So we can go further with this by loading policies that actually examine the transfer packets and do different things with them. But that's the end of this demo. Thank you.